Hi, this is Walford Coffin bringing you another devotion. We love that Christmas message, don't we, from the book of Luke chapter 2, verse 7. It says this, And she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. There we see that beautiful message of those cloths in a manger. But why? Think about it. Well, had to because the angels had already told the shepherds, hey guys, when you go into Bethlehem, you'll find this Christ child there wrapped in cloths and placed in a manger. How special that was. But think about it. Cloths, that, you do know that meant rags, don't you? And then placed in a manger. You know what a manger is, don't you? It's a feeding trough. But why? I mean, to think about it, Jesus, the King of kings and Lord of lords, the promised Messiah, was born but placed in a manger, wrapped in those cloths. Why? He wasn't poor. Who was poor was us. See, Jesus wanted to identify with us. And that's why He's wrapped in those cloths. That's why He's placed in that manger, so we can understand. And He understands us. But did you realize there's another person in the Scriptures, in the book of Luke, that wrapped Jesus in cloths. Did you not know that? Look over in Luke 23, verse 53. And then He took it down, wrapped in a linen cloth, and placed in a tomb, cut in the rock, one in which no one had yet been laid. Now who is this? This is Joseph, Joseph of Arimathea, and he's taking the body of Jesus down, and look at that, wrapped Him in a linen cloth. See, Jesus was born to identify with us, but Jesus also died to identify with us. Yes, Jesus was born to die for our sins. And so we can think of all the beauty of this Christmas, but what makes Christmas even more special? We know Easter's coming. We know Easter's coming, so we celebrate the Christ child. But let us always be celebrating the risen Savior who conquered that grave that we now can identify with Him and that we one day, we can conquer that grave because of what Jesus has done. Well, Christmas is always special. But I tell you what, when you put that message of Christmas and Easter together, it is something very special. He came to identify with us. He also died for us. Let us celebrate that. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank You for the message of Christmas. But let us not get into just all the gifts and the parties and celebration, but the real celebration is You, Lord, that You conquered the grave for us. We praise You in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, celebrate. Jesus is alive.